All right, everybody, welcome back. We are going to work in Google authentication within our Next.js app that we've been building as a part of the playlist of how to build this app right here called Sidebling. And it's basically a place where people can specify their hobbies or interests and it's gonna help them monetize it by connecting with OpenAI. So for instance, if you like building paper airplanes, what a stupid hobby, <laughs> unless you're a kid, uh, we're gonna hit generate ideas. We built this little animation in Rive in a different video. So that's why I can't stress enough, watch this from the beginning to get the full experience of how we built this. And then it returns this response. This is working with real data paper airplane workshop instructor okay next idea we worked in these these animations everything is ready to rock now I did do a live stream where we tried to go past this point but that was just too messy so I'm backing up and we're not going to include that live stream as a part of this process um, but what I realized is we need to work in authentication first and then second we also need to integrate database we need to save this information you know per user so i didn't want to get ahead of myself we need to knock that stuff out today so what we'll do is i'm going to first show you that we're going to use something called context 7 and if i zoom up you'll see it's right there context 7. so what you need to do just to get to this point again we're using cursor here um we're going to let's just close all these and hit control l okay you might see something similar to this hit control l to get the chat window up come up here go to chat settings and then go to tools and integrations and then this is where all of your mcp servers are if you don't see contact 7 here what you need to do is click on worry you didn't see the whole thing there the other key <laughs> uh, and you want to see context 7 um, if not, you want to paste this in right around here. This is how you install it. There's no API keys or anything required. Um, and then save it. Once you go back, you should see context seven right here and make sure it is green. That means it's ready to rock and ready to be communicated with. So now what I'll do is close those out and I'm going to show you the prompt. So the prompt here, if I come out right here, is um, this. This is the initial prompt we're going to integrate. So we need to integrate authentication via Google Auth for this app. I'm not going to have any other forms just because this is a demo app essentially. So Google Auth will be the only way they can log in. Um, use Context 7. So that's basically what you do. That's how you use Context 7. You tell it to use it for integrating Auth, right? So in the nav bar, if a user is not logged in, it should show the login button. Once the, lo the logged in button is clicked, a modal should show up with a Google login button. Once the, a modal is just like a pop-up. Um, once the login button is clicked, they should be able to select their Google account and authenticate into the app. Once successfully authenticated, it should revert back to the home page with the logged in state. And if they're logged in, show a logout button instead of the login button in the nav and provide me with instructions and a new markdown file for setting this up properly within Google because we have to do work within Google in order to set this project up and get the API keys. So noting the name of the variables, uh, environment variables that I need to define in our environment uh, file. And then we will be saving the user registration information in a super based database, but don't attempt to build that yet. But I wanted to provide it with that future context. This is the initial prompt. I'm gonna copy it. We are going to paste and let's see what it does so once i click submit we should see some tool calls here it'll help you integrate google auth into your nuxt app let me start by examining the current code base all right research google auth uh, with context 7. so what we're going to do first is get this all integrated and so I'm going to go to uh, Google Auth here, authentication. This is the guide that I created. So um, I'm going to do this real quick and go through these steps. Now that I have that all specified, I'm going to run npm run dev again. Looks like we do have a couple issues. It says OAuth is not defined. I'm going to paste this, or it should have the context of this. Uh, let's see here, it says uh, tab. We want to make sure that the terminal here, there's just PowerShell, so we're going to add this as context. So come down here, terminals, 
and PowerShell. Now I'm going to specify I've integrated, I'm no, I've completed the steps. Make sure you can see this. To integrate Google Auth, there is an EMV file with the three fields you told me to specify. You can't access it. It's I. Uh, you can't access it though. Um, I ran npm i and then npm run dev, and there's an error in the terminal that you have access to fix this. Okay. Now, sometimes on my um, environment, it gets hung up in these little console commands. So I just hit shift uh, and skip, and it's still going to access this um, error right here. So if that happens, don't let it just sit there forever. Let's see here. Let's click login. There we go. Awesome. We have the little modal, which, you know, is fine. Let's click this. This app's request is invalid. Just, oh, I see the issue. Look at that. I didn't put an extra zero. Stupid me. Also, need to make sure that these are not HTTPS. Aye, aye, aye. Side bling, I will be but not local host. That's why. Let's save. Let's see if it works this time. Jeez. Not smooth, Gary, not smooth. Let's see here, log in, continue. There we go. Awesome. So let's hit continue and see if it works. Yes, it even has my picture. Now this looks stupid with the logout button and my name here. So we could just tell it to re maybe remove just the uh, where it says my name. There we go. Now let's see if logout works. It works. Yay, okay. It's not the greatest looking. We could still improve that, but for now I'm happy with it. Now we have authentication and logged in working within our app. So now what we wanna do is I want to get I uh, the at least you know the Superbase MCP server set up along with a users table set up, um, and that's going to be what we're going to do now. So we want to come back up here into our chat settings, the M MCP servers. Notice I already have Superbase MCP installed. Now, if I click here. We will see this is what we need to specify all this information for the MCP server. You can also go to superbase.com MCP, type that in Google and you'll find the documentation to copy and paste this stuff. But your token here, that's what you need to grab from Superbase. All right. Superbase is just a database provider. Um, and I already have a token that I'm going to paste here. And when you create your account, you can find that stuff easily. You log in, click on your, uh, your little avatar go to account preferences and click access tokens. That's gonna to be the token um, that you click generate token if you don't have one, and then you'll see a copy button. Now, once you save it, I, you should see this here, 28 tools, make sure that uh, it is green, the status is green. Okay, now we're gonna specify a prompt. Use the Superbase MCP server to say to create a users table and we we're going to have to set up the uh, we're likely going to have to set up the project and stuff ourselves and provide you know all the the api keys and credentials specific to that project so we'll have it create another md file markdown file for instructions on how to do that but before i i'm also going to include like what we want as well so use the super base mcp server to create a users table um that is tied to Google authentication. And in the future, we will also save the user's searches, not searches, I, I, uh, prompts and open AI responses. Okay, so I uh, create a markdown file, uh, .md file with instructions on how to set up the project and retrieve any necessary keys in Superbase. 
So it's calling the, you know, when it clicks list projects, um, it's working the super base MCP server. Now on Superbase, at the time of recording this video, you can only uh, have like on the free tier, uh, which is what I'm on, you can only have two active projects. So just uh, remember that and you can pause other projects um, to make room. Now what's cool is I log in here, look, side bling, that is created. All right, so let's click on, uh, it created a markdown file, I believe, um, Superbase setup, so right here. Okay, um, I'm not sure how much the actual MCP server was able to do. So I'm gonna click on SideBling itself and see if there's actually uh, tables and the database structure. Yeah, prompts, it already created the prompt uh, table and a users table. Okay, so I'll, I will need to provide it with the uh, service role key. So I'm gonna copy that. And this stuff, I'm just, uh, it would be up to you to just kind of follow this process because I don't want to reveal my keys or anything. Yeah, so we don't want to do this stuff manually ourselves. So I will tell it to do it. I have integrated the necessary API keys. Now finish the integration so that when a user logs in, it saves it to the, to the user's field or user's table. Let's give it a test. All right, and let's go and check the actual table. There it is. As you can see, has the ID, Google ID, uh, email, name, avatar URL, created at, updated at, last login, all working perfectly. So. That is it. That is the process to integrating uh, Google Auth and as well as creating a user's table. And we did this with the help of the Context 7 MCP server and Supabase MCP server as well, which makes it super easy to having not I mean, have to touch anything. So now the next video, we're going to go ahead and make it start saving this data into the database, a Supabase, when a user enters a search. And then we'll also get integrated the next step where they can generate the actual guide per idea that is generated. So make sure to follow up here. Check out designcourse.com for much more robust courses and projects in all things AI. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.